Hello, everyone. Today, again, we will be talking about this no excuses, the power of self discipline, Brian by Brian Tracy. So, last time we read chapter three, now we are going to read chapter four. It was the last part. I hope you have taken the action uh, exercises. Now, let's move on. Uh, chapter four self discipline and goals. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. Jim Rohn. Your ability to discipline yourself, to set clear goals for yourself, and then to work towards them every day will do more to guarantee your success than any other single factor. You need to have goals to accomplish uh, worthwhile things in your life. In life, You have probably heard that it's said uh, you can't hit a target that you can't see. If you don't know where you're going, any routes will get you there. And as uh, Whitney Gretzky say, you miss every shot you don't take. Uh, the very act of taking time to decide what you really want in each area of life can change your life completely. So you can't, you, you miss every shot you don't take. Interesting, right? Uh, the 3% factor. It seems that only 3% of adults have written goals, plans, and these 3% earn more than all of the 98% put together. <laughs> Why is this? The simplest answer is that if you have clear goal and a plan to achieve it, uh, user will have a track to run on every single day. Instead of being sidetracked by distractions, by diversions, Getting lost or going astray more and more of your time is focused in a single, uh, in a straight li line from where you are to where you want to go. This is why people with goals accomplish so much more than without them. This tragedy is that most, the, the tragedy is that most people think that they already have goals, but they, <laughs> Uh, but what they really have are hopes and wishes. However, the hope is not a strategy for success, and the wish has been defined as a goal with no energy behind it. Goals uh, that are written down and developed into plans are like bullets without powder in the uh, cartridge. People with unwritten goals go through life shooting blanks because they think that they already have goals they never engage in a hard, disciplined effort of goal setting. And this is the master skill of success. 3%. Interesting. Next. Multiply your chance of success. In 2006, USA Today reported a study in which the researchers selected a range number of people who had made New Year's resolution. As they then divided these people into two categories, those who had set New Year's resolution and written them down, and those who had set New Year's resolutions but had not written them down. Twelve months later, they followed up on the resolution in this study, and what they found was astonishing. Of the people who had set New Year's resolution but hadn't written them down, only 4% had actually followed through on their resolutions. But among the groups uh, who had written down their new year resolutions, an exercise requiring only a couple of minutes, and 44% had followed through on them. This is difference of more than 1,100% in success. So only 4% to 44%. And this is a difference of more than this one thousand one hundred percent in success, and it was achieved by the simple act of crystallizing the resolution or goal on paper. And the discipline of writing, in my experience, uh, of working with several million people over the past twenty five years, the discipline of a uh, disciplined act of writing out goals, making plans for accomplishing them, and then working on those goals daily increases the likelihood of achieving your goals by 10 times or 1,000%.
This doesn't mean that writing your out your goals guarantees success, but rather than it increases the probability of success by 10 times, these are very good odds to have working in your favor, especially when there is no cost or risk involved in putting pen to, um, to paper, just a little time. Writing is called sacral neural motor activity. The act of writing forces you to think and concentrate. It forces you to choose what is more important to you and your future. As a result, when you write down a goal, you impress it uh, into subconscious mind, which then goes to work 24 hours a day to bring your goal to reality. Sometimes I tell my seminar audience only 3% of adults have written goals and everyone else works for those people. In my life, in life, uh, you either work to achieve your own goals or you work to achieve the goals of someone else. Which is going to be? Which is it going to be? So you decide. Discipline of writing. Interesting facts. I would also add trouble with typing. I don't see that much difference and I... I don't know, you will see. But really good. Uh, next, success versus failure mechanisms. Your brain has a success mechanism and failure mechanism. The failure mechanism is a temptation to follow the undisciplined path of least resistance to do what is fun and easy rather than hard necessary. Your failure mechanism all operates automatically throughout your life which is the major reason why most people people fail to fulfill their individual potentials. While your failure mechanism functions automatically, your success mechanism is triggered by a core. Uh, when you decide on a goal, you override your failure mechanism and you can change the direction of your life. You go from being a ship without the rudder, uh, drifting with a tide, to being a ship with a rudder, a compass, a clear destination, sailing in a straight direction toward your goal. The power of goal. A client of mine recently told me an interesting story. He said he attended one of the seminars in 1994 where I spoke about the importance of writing down goals and making plans for accomplishing them. At that time, uh, he was 35 years old, selling cars for a dealership in Nashville, earning about $50,000 a year. He told me that they changed his life. He began writing down his goals and plans, working on them daily. 12 years later, he was earning more than $1 million a year and was the president of fast-growing uh, companies that sell services to some of the biggest companies. Uh, in the country. He told me he couldn't imagine what his life would have been like if he hadn't taken a piece of paper and written down the goals he wants to achieve in the years ahead. Take control of your life. Aristotle wrote that humans, human beings are teleological organism, which means we are purpose-driven. Therefore, you feel happy and in control of your life only when you have a clear goal that you are working toward each day. This also means that this is the ability to become a lifelong uh, goal setter in one of the most important disciplines you will ever develop. In nature, the homing uh, pigeon, I guess, uh, is a remarkable bird. It has an uncanny instinct that enables it to fly back to its home home roads, no matter how far away it starts or in what direction it must go. You can take a homing pigeon out of its roads, put in a cage, put the cage in a box, cover the box with a blanket, and put the covered box in the back of a picked up truck. You could drive them 1,000 uh, miles in any direction, open up the truck, take out the box, take out of the blanket, open the cage, and through the homing pigeon uh, on up into the air. The homing pigeon builds circles three times, uh, gets its bearing, and then fly straight to its home roots. 
This is the only creature on earth that has this ability except for human beings, except for you. Okay, control what you have. Mm -hmm. You also have this uh, remarkable homing ability uh, within your own brain. Mm -hmm. But there's one special difference. The homing pigeon seems to know instantly exactly what its home is located. It then has the ability to fly directly back to its roost. In contrast, human beings uh, program a goal into their minds. They can then set out without having any idea where they will go or how, will, how they will achieve that goal. But by some miracle, they will begin to move unerringly towards that goal, and the goal begin to move towards them. Uh, still, many people are hesitant to set uh, goals. They say, I want to be financially independent, but I have no idea how I am going to, you know, how I am going to get there. As a result, they don't even set financial success, uh, set financial success as a goal. But the good news is that you don't need to know how to get there. You just need to be clear about what you want to accomplish. And the goal striving mechanism in your brain will guide you unerringly to your destination. For example, you can decide that you are going to find your ideal job in which you work for and with people who you like and respect do work that is both challenging and enjoyable. You take some time to write down an exact description of what your ideal job and workplace would look like, and then you go out into the job market and begin searching. After a series of interviews, you often walk into the right place at the right time and find yourself in exactly the right job. Almost everyone has had this experience uh, at one time or another. You can have it by design rather than by chance, simply by developing absolute clarity about what you really want. So take control of your life, which is interesting. Uh, it talks about you have a plan and you will find how to, you know, uh, get that plan, even if at first you don't have the, you know, idea of how to get there. The seven step method to achieving your goals. So there are seven simple steps. You can follow the set and achieve your uh, goals faster. There are more complex and detailed goal achieving methodologies, uh, methodologies, but this seven step will enable you to accomplish 10 times more than you have accomplished it before. You will do so by far faster than you can currently imagine. Uh, step one, decide exactly what you want. It's specific. If you want to increase your income, decide on a specific amount of money rather than you just make more money. Write it down. Step two, write it down. A goal that is not in writing is like a cigarette smoke. It drifts away and disappears. It's vague uh, it, uh, and insubstantial. It has no force, effect, or power. But a written goal becomes something that you can see, touch, read, and modify if necessary. Step three, set a deadline for your goal. Uh, pick a reasonable time period and write down the date uh, when you want to achieve. If it is a big enough goal, set a final uh, deadline. So, and uh, then set sub deadlines or interim steps between where you are today and where you want to be in the future. The deadline serves as a forcing system in your brain, just as you often uh, get more done when you are under pressure of specific deadline. Your subconscious mind works faster and more efficiently when you have decided that you want to achieve a goal by a specific time. The rule is there are no unrealistic goals. There are only unrealistic deadlines. What do you want to do if you don't achieve your goals by your deadline? Simply set another deadline. A deadline is a guess uh, estimate, guesstimate. <laughs> sometimes you will achieve your goals before the deadline, sometimes at the deadline, and sometimes after the deadline. When you set your goals, it will be within the context of certain set of external circumstances. But these circumstances may uh, change causing you to change your deadline as well. Make a list of everything you can think that you could possibly do 
uh, to achieve your goal. As Henry Ford said, the biggest goal can be accomplished if you break it down into enough small steps. Make a list of obstacles, uh, obstacles and difficulties that you will have to overcome both externally and internally in order to achieve your goal. Make a list of additional knowledge and skills you will need in order to achieve your goals. Make a list of people whose cooperation and support you will require to achieve your goal. Make a list of everything that you can think of that you will have to do. And then add to the list of new tasks and responsibilities occur to you. Keep writing until your list is full. Step five, organize your list by both sequence and priority. A list of activities organized by sequence requires you to decide what you need to do first, what you need to do second, what you need to do later. In addition, a list organized by priority enables you to determine what is more important, what is less important. Sometimes sequence and priority are the same, but often they are not. For example, if you want to start a particular kind of business, the first item in order to sequence might be for you to purchase a book uh, or enroll in a course on, business, on that business. Uh, but what is most important is your ability to develop a business plan based on complete market research that you can use to gather the resources you need and actually start the business you have in mind. Step six, take action on your plan immediately. Take the first step and then second step and then the third step. Get going, get busy, move quickly and don't delay. Remember, procrastination is only uh, the theft of time. It is the theft of life. It's not only the theft of time, but it's the thief of uh, life. The difference between success and failure in life is simply that winners take the first step. They are action-oriented. As they said in Star Trek, uh, they go boldly where no man has ever gone before. Winners are willing to take action with no guarantees of success. So they are willing to face the failures and disappointments. They are always willing to take action. Step seven. Do something every day that moves you in the direction of your major goal. This is the key step that guarantees your success. Do something every seven, uh, every uh, seven days a week, 335 and 36 days, sometimes years in a foreign month. Uh, do anything that moves you at least one step closer to the goal that's most important to you at that time. When you do something, Every day the, uh, that moves you in the direction of your goal, you develop momentum. This momentum, uh, this sense of forward mo uh, motion motivates, inspires, and energizes you. As you develop uh, momentum, you will find it increasingly easy to take more steps toward your goals. In no time at all, you will have developed the discipline of setting and achieving your goals. It will soon become easy and automatic. You will soon develop the habit and the discipline of working toward your goals uh, all the time. So next, 10 goal exercise. This is one of the most, so before that, we talked about seven steps, how to achieve and the real thing from deciding what you want to do something every day. To the, uh, you know, which leads you to the direction of your plan, goal. Uh, next, the 10 goal exercise. This is the most powerful, uh, this is the most powerful achieving and uh, exercise which we need to think of about it. And uh, yeah, this is the most powerful goal achieving method you have ever discovered. I teach all over the world and I practice it myself almost every day. I practice it. Take out a clean sheet of paper at the top of the paper page, write the uh, word goals and today's date. Then discipline yourself to write down 10 goals that you would like to accomplish in the next 12 months. 
break down financial family goals and fitness goals, as well as for personal possessions like a car or house. Don't worry uh, for the moment about how you're going to achieve these goals. Just write them down as quickly as you can. You can write as many as 15 goals if you like, but this exercise requires you to write down a minimum of, minimum of 10, a uh, minimum of 10 within three to five and minutes. Interesting. Select one goal. Once you have written your 10 goals, imagine the, for the moment that you can achieve all of those goals on your list if you want them long enough and hard enough. Also, imagine you have a magic wand. You can wave that enables you to achieve any goal on your list within 24 hours. If you could, could achieve any goal on your list within 24 hours, which would uh, which one would you have would have the greatest positive impact on your life right now? Which one goal would change or improve your life more than anything else? Which one goal, if you were to achieve, would help you to achieve more of your other goals than anything else? Whatever your answer to this question, put a circle around this and then write it at the top of clean sheet paper. This goal then becomes your major defined purpose. It becomes focal point, the organizing principle of your future activities. Really good. Out of 10, choose one which will change your life for the greatest positive impact. Make a plan. Once you have written your good uh, of this goal clearly and specifically and made it measurable, set a deadline on your goal, your subconscious mind needs a deadline so that it can focus and concentrate on uh, concentrate all of your mental powers on goal attainment. Make a list of everything that you can think of that you could do to achieve your goal. Organize this uh, list by sequence and priority. Select the most important or logical next step in your current plan and take actions on it immediately. Take the first step, do something, do anything. Resolve to work on this goal every single day until it is achieved. From this moment forward, as long as you are concerned, failure is not an option. Once you have decided that this one goal can have the greatest positive impact on your life, you and you have set it as a measure this definite purpose, resolve that you will work toward this goal as hard as you can, as long as you can, and that will never that you will never give up until it's achieved. This decision alone can change your life. Absolutely, make it plan. I agree with that. Use mind storming to get started. Here is another technique you can use to dramatically increase the likelihood you will achieve your most important goal. This is the most powerful creative thinking techniques I have ever seen. More people have become wealthy using this method than any other way. Take a, another take another clean sheet of paper, write down your measured definite purpose at the top of your page in the form of question. Then discipline yourself to write a minimum of 20 answers to this to the answer. Minimum of 20 answers? For example, if your goal is to earn a certain amount of money by a certain date, you would write the questions, how can I earn you know, X dollar by this specific date? You then discipline yourself to generate 20 answers to your question. This exercise of mind storming will activate your mind, unleash your creativity, and give you ideas that you may never have thought about, thought of before. The first three uh, to five answers will be easy. The next five will be difficult. And uh, the last 10 answers will be harder than you can imagine, at least the first time you do this exercise. Nonetheless, you must exert your discipline and willpower to persist until you have written down at least 20 answers. Uh, you Once you have generated 20 answers, you look over your list and select one of the answers to take actions on immediately. 
it seems that you have you take actions on a single idea uh, on your list. It triggers more ideas and motivates you to take actions on even more of these answers. And the next, the great law of law of cause and effect. The most important application of the law of cause and effect is that thoughts are causes and conditions are effects. Your thoughts create conditions of your life. When you change your thinking, you change your life. Your outer world becomes a mirror image reflection of your inner world. Perhaps the greatest discovery in the history of thoughts is that you become uh, what you think about most of the time. Moreover, the teacher John Boyle said, whatever you can think about on a continuing basis, you can have it. Napoleon Hill, author of Texas uh, classic, Think and Grow Rich, was first published in 1939 and still selling today. Said, whatever the, the mind of a man can conceive and believe it can achieve. When you, when you think about your goal continually and work on it every day, more and more of your mental resources will be concentrated on moving towards uh, that goal and moving towards your goal. Uh, the discipline of daily uh, goal setting will make you a powerful, purposeful, and irresistible person. You will develop self-esteem, self-confidence, and self-respect. As you feel yourself moving towards your goals faster and faster, you will ultimately become unstoppable. In the next chapter, I will explain how to use the self-discipline to develop personal excellence in the most powerful step you take to achieve all your material and emotional goals. Action exercise. The result today to switch on your success mechanism to unlock, to unlock your goal achieving mechanism by deciding what you really want in life. Make a list of 10 goals that you want to achieve in the foreseeable future. Write them down in the present tense as you already have achieved them. Select the ones that you could have that could have positive impact on your life. If you were to achieve it, uh, write it down at the top of another piece of paper. And write it down at the top of another piece of paper. Which goals are here? Select the goals that could have the greatest positive impact on your life if you were to achieve it and write it down at the top of another piece of paper. Make a list of everything you could to achieve this goal. Organize it by sequence and priority and then take action on it immediately. Practice by brainstorming by writing out 20 ideas that could help you achieve your most important uh, goal and then take action on at least one of those ideas. Resolve to do more something every day, seven days a week to achieve your most important goal until you are successful. Continually remind yourself that failure is not an option, no matter what, resolve to persist until you succeed. So thank you very much. We read uh, chapter four together. And then in the next video, we will talk about chapter five, self-discipline and personal excellence. Um, yeah, if you liked, please like the video. It will help the, the algorithm uh, of YouTube. And uh, like this video, share it and subscribe it. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Well, I haven't ended.